Hey, what's up everybody? Just doing my week six video update. And we're taking a look here at Twitter real quick. We'll go through my different accounts like you've seen me do, if you've seen any of my other previous videos. But here's Twitter, 11 following, three followers. I actually got a couple followers. I didn't do a week five video. Over the past week or two, I've actually picked up some followers. So much love to all of you who are following. I even got some hearts on some of my comments. So thanks everybody. I put all of my videos up on Daily Motion, BitChute, and YouTube for those of you who weren't aware. Now, Daily Motion doesn't seem to like my kind of content. Their audience, anyway, it seems more celebrity based, maybe. I don't know. Well, let's look through here and I'll show you what I've got for my views for these videos, and then you can compare it to the other two. So you see here, we'll start here, one view, three views, 26 views, that was actually a Gillum video that I did. One view, no views, three, five, one, zero, seven, one, five, 12, one, uh, one, 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 one. <laughs> you guys get the point. They are not loving me on daily motion. It's all good though. So let's take a look at YouTube real quick. So in the past week or so, I actually had a couple new subscribers who popped up here in the notifications. Like I've said before, everybody's doesn't pop up. It's just if you elect to have your stuff seen. So Yolanda White and James S1W, shout out to both of you. Thank you very much. I subscribe to their channels in turn. I do the same for everybody who subscribes to me, whose notifications that I see. So here it's showing the channel got 591 views in the last seven days and six subscribers over the past week. The week prior, in week five, I hadn't had any subscribers, so six subscribers this week. Boom, baby, that's a new high, woo! <laughs> Let me show you my videos real quick and show you what kind of views they're getting. I'll just scroll through these real quick so you can get an idea from Daily Motion again when I show you bit shoot. We'll take a look over here, 10 views on this video. I actually got 253 views on one video, so that was almost half of the total for the week, and it was a Pornhub video. Come on, guys, what are you doing to me? It takes a Pornhub video to get some views? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I love it. <laughs> you gotta love it, you gotta appreciate the humor and all that. But as you see here, the other video views, 21, 5, 23, 8, 16. And then had some views with some videos as well, some Andrew Gillum videos, 205, 15, 210. But you see aside from those couple videos, it's mostly the same. Views are probably anywhere from five to 20. So you see here, right, 19, six, six. 13, 102, two views. So you see how it is even if you put up multiple videos per day, if one of them hits, that doesn't necessarily mean that the other one is going to. And hits, I mean like 100 views is huge for somebody of my stature with only 12 subscribers at this point. And that's nowhere more evident than the case of the Pornhub video where it had 253 views, but another video I put up that same day had only 10. Uh, different kind of video content, of course, but nonetheless, it just shows you that just because for your status, you have one video that does well, that doesn't necessarily mean that the next one that you put out is going to do well, even if you're being consistent with it and putting out videos all the time. And here's the BitChute channel, 14 subscribers, as you can see over here. And we'll just go through the videos here real quick so you can see the number of views. Got 55 views there. See the Pornhub video only did, did 57 there. I don't know what's up with those YouTube people there loving that Pornhub. <laughs> 43 views, 29, I don't know why these photos don't show up here, 31, 35, 19, 44, 28, 45, 74, 79, 47, so you get the point. It's pretty consistent in the same range, anywhere from 30 to 60 to 70-ish views on those videos. Now with BitChute, obviously you don't have subscriber information. You don't know who's watching your videos, who's subscribed, you can't really interact with your subscribers like you're able to on YouTube, but again, I've got no issue with that. They choose to do it a different way on their platform. So that's how it is. All you do is get into the comments and interact with individuals. Oh, that reminds me, I wanna show you one here real quick. This was a video I did about Kentucky Fried Chicken, Spirit Airlines, Hershey's, kind of these companies that were wigging out due to social media complaints because of the coronavirus outbreak. So I guess KFC had come out with a new ad campaign on their whole finger licking good. Anybody who knows KFC, who's been around as long as I have knows they've been talking about finger licking good forever. The campaign, this was in England. It was a commercial, I hadn't seen the commercial, but they had a lot of individuals. They were licking their fingers. Other people were licking each other's fingers after eating their wings or something like that. And of course, you know, babies complained on social media. So in my comment here, I said, people just can't keep from freaking out over coronavirus. The media loves it for sure. They finally have something to talk about to get ratings. That said, KFC is finger licking good, always has been, always will be. My comment 
comment was meh, you know, but here's the comment I wanted to highlight. And this is an individual who leaves comments on my videos from time to time. So shout out to you. So his username, I may not be pronouncing it right. Erisable me. So if I got it wrong, hey, give me a thumbs down or something on the next video. <laughs> he or she, I'm going to assume it's a guy just based on the content of this humor here. He says, well, if you don't want to lick my fingers, I'm guessing you don't want to lick my chicken either. <laughs> I'm not disappointed. Not terribly. Maybe a little. <laughs> so definitely had to give my LOL for that one and a thumbs up. So definitely much appreciated. Keep the good comments coming. I always appreciate it. And as I said, no matter what platform you're on, make sure you're interacting with individuals. I don't get too stressed out over the numbers because I'm not somebody who's concerned about doing it for the money. To me, it's always about fun. That's why I talked about in other videos that I've put up, other update videos where I don't sit there at the beginning of the video and say, hey, hit the sub button, hit the like button, share this, this and that. It's always cool to see growth. It's always nice to know people are watching your videos. But for me, it's different. I'm at a different place in my life to where I don't have to concern myself with being stressed out about trying to make money on this thing. Other individuals, you may be a little different. You may be trying to say, hey, I've got a message. I've got a lot of good stuff to talk about. I'm trying to make a career out of this, whatever platform you're on. And if that's you, then yeah, go for it. Do what you need to do. Try to be as accommodating as possible or requestful, if that's even a word, to get individuals to sub to your stuff, to like your stuff, to share it, because that's definitely the way that it'll help you grow. After six weeks, I've got 14 subs on BitChute and 12 on YouTube, and for me, it's good. Every day, I'm good. As long as people are seeing the videos to some degree and you're getting a little bit of reach out there, like I said, to me, it's not about any kind of money. I think it's more important for me, or probably important for everybody, to see that they're actually reaching somebody. Nobody wants to make a video, and I probably said this before, where you get two viewers like I have on some of my videos. It makes you wonder like how nobody is possibly seeing it. It happens. Like I said, though, for me, it's just I'm just out here trying to have fun with it, trying to educate myself. And if I see funny and interesting stories, then I'm just trying to do a video on them and bring them to everybody's attention. Fortunately, like I said, I'm in a good place in life where I have the time and energy to go ahead and put these videos up, even though it's not for some kind of financial gain. I'm good with where things are going. For individuals who may be trying to do this for money and come across this video, all I would say is you've just got to keep grinding. I've said it in all my videos and you'll hear me say it again again many many times I put up a video a day sometimes two videos per day but I'm not necessarily out there interacting with comments in a sense of trying to get people to sub you know begging like sub for sub and doing some of these other things that you can do on some channels or some platforms to where you can grow faster though I have some free time I don't have all that free time to go ahead and be hitting up other people's channels to be posting all these comments and try to hit people up for subs and everything like that the way I see it is if I'm not putting the message out there and people are still subbing and liking to whatever degree that is to me that seems to be more of a loyal fan base or individuals that would be more likely to connect to your content and so for me that's what it's really about so like I said other individuals if you're out there trying to make money out of it if you're trying to make this a career then yeah definitely don't follow my advice whatever I'm doing do the exact opposite <laughs> that's my update for week six everybody hopefully everybody's out there doing well thanks for watching the video thanks as always for the comments you leave the thumbs up all the support it's much appreciated on whatever platform you are except daily motion since nobody's watching anyway <laughs> all right take care everybody